Today's lesson is called the Keswachaka Bridge, a link to the past. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and today we're going to be traveling to the southern hemisphere, which is a good time to go there, because right now it is at the end of the year, and the dead of winter in 2020 were about ready to say hello to 2021. A happy New Year, everybody! But yeah, we're going down to South America today to talk about a special kind of bridge there. It's not made out of concrete. It's not made out of steel, but it's actually made out of rope. What do you know? It's a rope bridge, and apparently, it's a real stunner. Okay, it's an amazing rope bridge. It's so cool that people think that they have to take care of this. In perpetuity, well into the future. And yes, that name, boy, is that a tongue twister? Keswachaka, the Keswachaka Rope Bridge. I'm probably not saying that totally accurately, but you know what? This is an English language program. We don't need to worry about pronunciation of strange words like that. We just need to focus on what's really important here. This rope bridge is amazing, and we are going to be learning all about it over the course of two lessons. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start reading right after this. The Keswachaka Bridge: A Link to the Past. High up in Peru's Andes Mountains, the adventurous traveler may chance upon a rope bridge that spans a deep gorge. Cut into the stone by the rushing waters of the Aparimac River, known as the Quetzalcoatl Bridge, this is no ordinary structure. Because Ricky is very adventurous, he loves to travel alone. Because Ricky has a very adventurous spirit, he loves to travel alone. Luna just came back from an adventurous trip. Luna 才刚从一趟惊险刺激的旅程回来。另外，补充这个字的名词 adventure, a d v e n t u r e, adventure 意思是冒险、探险，像是 unforgettable adventure 就表示难忘的探险旅程。我们可以说 the movie follows the lead character as she goes on an unforgettable adventure through Australia. 这部电影讲述主角横跨澳洲，展开一趟令人难忘的探险旅程。再来，我们看到单字 span 这个字是动词，意思是横跨，像是 the first transatlantic cable spanned the ocean in 1858. 第一条横跨大西洋电缆在一八五八年横跨海峡。另外，这个字除了上面的意思，还有以下两种用法。第一，指持续、涵盖，例如。The party's control of the country spanned several decades. 那个政党掌控该国长达数十载，或是 In the U.S., a presidential term spans four years. 在美国，总统一个任期为期四年。第二，这个字还可以当名词，指一段时间、期间、宽幅，像是 lifespan 就表示寿命。举例来说 ，People today have much longer lifespans than people who lived 100 years ago. 现代人的寿命比一百年前的人要长了许多。或是 ，the bridge that will be built over the river will have a 300 meter span. 那座将盖好的跨河大桥将会有三百公尺宽。接着，我们看到名词 gorge， 意思是峡谷。例如 ，the river passes through a narrow gorge. 这条河穿越狭窄的峡谷。另外，这个字也可以当动词，指狼吞虎咽，像是 gorge on。或是 gorge oneself on 就表示拼命的吃点点点。我们可以说 After gorging on fruit, Jason wasn't hungry enough for dinner. 大吃水果后 ，Jason 就吃不下晚餐了。或是 Brian gorged himself on appetizers at the party. Brian 在派对上大吃特吃，开胃点心。
Okay, so if you haven't figured it out yet, we're down in Peru, in South America, and high up in Peru's Andes Mountains, the adventurous traveler may chance upon a rope bridge that spans a deep gorge cut into the stone by the rushing waters of the Apurimac River. And that's the first sentence here. It's quite long there, so we're going to have to break it down for you. Again, we're talking about this rope bridge. We'll get to the name again in just a couple of seconds here. But you know, if you're down in Peru or Mexico or Brazil or various parts of Latin America, they have lots of interesting place names because there used to be these indigenous people living there. They're actually still there, and some of their languages have influenced the names of the place names. There, so yeah, we've got this Keswachaca rope bridge, which is high up in Peru's Andes Mountains. Of course, the Andes that refers to the mountain range that stretches from northern South America to southern South America. There you go. Now it says here, if you are adventurous, you might want to go ahead and take a look at this rope bridge. By the way, if you are adventurous. You want to do fun things that might actually be slightly dangerous. That's right. Now we need to pay attention to this particular sentence. Basically, all it's saying is a traveler may come across a rope bridge. Okay, that's the basic information of this sentence. Everything else adds more information to that. So, if you are adventurous, you may chance upon this rope bridge. And chance upon just means you may just happen to see it. Yes, it says here. That this particular rope bridge spans, or kind of covers, goes across a deep gorge. Okay, I think we all know what a gorge is. Now, if you don't, just think of Tailuga Taroko Gorge, a thin canyon that has been cut into rock by a flowing river. Okay, and some of these gorges they are quite deep, so you've got to be careful around them, or you might. Fall in. So yes, you've got to be an adventurous traveler to come across this particular rope bridge. Now, let's move on. The next sentence says, "Known as the Keswachaka Bridge, this is no ordinary structure." How about that? Okay, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. The Keswachaka Bridge was originally built some 600 years ago. In the days of the Inca Empire, back then it was just one tiny link in a vast network of roads and bridges that ran nearly the entire length of the Andes. Now, nearly every trace of that once mighty empire is gone. Yet, ever since that time, the people living in the villages on either side of the river have come together every year to rebuild the bridge. Their work is a labor of love, carried out to maintain both the link between their communities. And the villagers' connection to their historical roots. So let's continue to talk about this special bridge here. The Keswachaka Bridge was originally built some 600 years ago in the days of the Inca Empire. So, of course, this bridge is not the original bridge.、Uh, rope bridges probably don't last that long. As we're going to find out, they rebuild it all the time. But the original bridge was built some 600 years ago. That's six centuries, so that's a long time. And back then, Peru and other parts of South America were controlled. Or ruled by the Inca Empire. Anyways, yes, it was originally, or at first, it was built some oh six hundred years ago or so. And back then, it was just one tiny link in a vast network of roads and bridges that ran nearly the entire length. Of the Andes, you have heard about this. The Inca Empire was quite impressive. When the Spanish did colonize the area, they built on top of the original Incan structures. They were very well constructed. The Inca Empire surely did have a vast network of roads and bridges and stuff like that. And this particular rope bridge is just one of those links in this amazing network. Yeah, it was a link in this network, just like links are. In a chain, of course,、uh, a chain cannot be a chain without all those links. These things that connect one part to another. So yeah, you had roads, you had bridges, you had all sorts of stuff, and it was.
was a big network, like all the highways here in Taiwan. It's a vast network of roads, and the bridges are just one link in that network. If that link falls down or something, then all traffic stops, and you get big traffic jams. And that's what happened back in the Inca Empire some 600 years ago. So of course, it was important for this bridge to continually be modified and rebuilt, as we're going to find out. Now, here in the next paragraph, it says, "Now nearly every trace of that once mighty empire is gone." Yes, the Spaniards came in and wiped out the Inca Empire and set up New Spain and established colonies, and then later Peru became independent. You know the history there. So yeah, there's some traces of the Inca Empire left. Maybe there are some historical sites like Machu Picchu or whatever. They're still there. But since that time, the people living in the villages on either side of the river have come together. They have united every year to rebuild the bridge, and if you. You build something again, you rebuild it. There you go. They rebuild the bridge every year. How about that? How cool! Now their work is a labor of love, carried out to maintain both the link between their communities and the villagers' connection to their historical roots. And the first thing I'm thinking about here is that's all great. That's all well and good. Keep these communities connected. Keep that link up. But my mind immediately thinks, "Oh my goodness! How can they do this every single year? It must be tough. That's a very deep gorge. It must be quite dangerous." It could indeed be very dangerous, and of course, I think of the question: Why don't they just call in some Taiwanese engineering company and have them build a metal and steel bridge, and they'll be done with it? They won't have to keep rebuilding this bridge. But again, it says it's a labor of love carried out to maintain both the link between their communities and the villagers' connection to their historical roots. Yes, it's cultural. Plus, they also need this bridge to be a link. Or some kind of bridge, I guess you could say, a connection between their communities. And here we've got a community, which could mean all sorts of things. But、uh, in this particular case, it's probably referring to their villages there in the mountains. And yeah, they could not trade back and forth. They could not exchange stories and stuff like that without this bridge. There you go. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up the first part of our article on the Keswachaka Rope Bridge. The bridge is built without resorting to modern tools or machinery. Rather, it is made entirely from a type of grass known as koya ichu, using exactly the same techniques that the ancestors of today's villagers used for over half a millennium. Resort. This word is a noun, means to use. 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 另外，这个字也可以当名词，有以下两种意思。第一，指度假胜地。举例来说 ，When we went to Mexico, we stayed at a fancy resort with an outdoor pool, a spa, and a buffet. 当我们去墨西哥，我们待在一间很华丽的度假胜地，有户外游泳池、温泉和自助餐。第二，指凭借的手段或资源，像是 last resort， 就表示唯一的凭借，不得已的办法。例如 ，the people in the sinking boat got into the boat's life raft as a last resort. 那艘下沉船中的人登上该船的救生艇，那是他们唯一的凭借了。或是 ，selling off company assets was the last resort, but Duncan was prepared to do it to avoid bankruptcy. 抛售该公司资产是不得已的办法，不过 Duncan 打算这么做以避免破产。最后，我们看到单字 millennium 这个字是名词，指一千年、千禧年。像是 the church was built more than a millennium ago. 这间教堂是在一千年之前建造的
Now, so far we've been talking about the Keswick-Chalker Bridge in terms of it being a rope bridge, but what exactly does that mean? How do you make a rope bridge, and what do you make the rope out of? Well, the bridge is built without resorting to modern tools or machinery. Okay, so if you resort to something, that means you use that thing, usually because you can't find another way to do something. So sometimes, of course, if you're having an argument. With your friend or something, you might resort to yelling. Okay, if you're trying to make your point and they don't hear you, then you might start yelling at them. You might resort to yelling, and hopefully you'll resolve your differences before it gets that bad. But here they resort to traditional tools and not modern tools like jackhammers and chainsaws and stuff like that. They use traditional methods. Yeah, I guess they could use those things. Okay, those options do exist, but do they resort to them? No, okay. They don't use modern tools or machinery. And yes, when I think of machinery, I think of machines, heavy equipment that you use to do something. And these days, let's say you're building a skyscraper, you need all sorts of machinery to put things together. But you know what? They're in Peru when they're building this bridge. They don't use any of this stuff. Okay, this particular rope bridge is made entirely. From grass, yes. The next line says, "Rather, this rope bridge, it is made entirely from a type of grass known as koya ichu, using exactly the same techniques that the ancestors of today's villagers used for over half a millennium. By the way, a millennium—that's a period of time spanning 1,000 years. So they have been making this particular bridge." For more than 500 years, and we know that they said it was first constructed 600 years ago, more than half a millennium ago. There is some modern usage of this word. I don't know if you all can remember. 20 years ago, there was this big problem called Y2K with the new millennium. When the year 2000 came, everybody thought that all the computers in the world were going to crash. That was Y2K. It seems like ancient history now. And then there's a generation of young. People called millennials who were born back in the 1980s and kind of came of age around the year 2000. So they never experienced a life without computers. They've had them all the time. Generations before that knew of the world without computers. But you know, it's just something we refer to once in a while, like baby boomers and Generation X and millennials. But here, yeah, they had not used any modern techniques to build those bridges for over half a millennium. Good for them. They're continuing the tradition, and that tradition, of course, was passed to them from their ancestors. And your ancestor or your ancestors are the people who lived. Many generations before you. I wouldn't call your grandparents or ancestors, but if you go back to your great grandparents or great great grandparents, yeah, then you can start calling them your ancestors. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't worry, don't fret. The Chinese teacher is waiting in the wings. Hello, 同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。课文一开始写到 ，High up in Peru's Andes Mountains, the adventurous traveler may chance upon a rope bridge. 在秘鲁安第斯山脉的高处，有冒险精神的旅人可能会偶然看到一座绳桥。好，这个句子的结构，简单来说就是形容词（逗号）、主词加动词。那么这样的结构呢，其实是经过省略简化而来的。好，原本的句子它可以写作 ：When the adventurous traveler is high up in Peru's Andes Mountains。逗号 ，the adventurous traveler may chance upon a rope bridge， 或是可以写作 ，the adventurous traveler is high up in Peru's Andes Mountains， and the adventurous traveler may chance upon a rope bridge。那我们就以后面的那个句子来看它简化的过程。好，那我们看到前后子句的主词都是 the adventurous traveler， 那么它就省略了连接词 and。还有省略前半句的主词，然后再把动词 is 改成现在分词 being， 句子就会变成 
Being high up in Peru's Andes Mountains, the adventurous traveler may chance upon a rope bridge. 好，那前半句它就会是以分词 being 开头的分词构句了。只是分词是 being 的时候，通常会省略，所以课文的句子才会直接以形容词 high 来当做开头。那这个 high up in Peru's Andes Mountains 就是用来描述后方的主词 the adventurous traveler 的。状态，好，那么下次同学们如果有看到形容词逗号、主词加动词的句型结构，就要记得这个形容词它是从分词构句省略 being 而来，然后那个形容词修饰的对象就是后面那一句的主词。好，那我们来造个例句哦 ，upset。逗号 ，She locked herself in her room. 她很不高兴，把自己锁在房间里。那这时候 ，upset 就是用来形容后面的主词 she。好，另外句子里面有一个片语动词是 chance upon。Chance 在这边是当动词，它有碰巧、偶然发生的意思。我们可以用 chance upon 或者是 chance on 来加人或事物，去表达偶然遇见、碰见。那么意思就会跟 come across、come upon、run across、run into。Bump into 等等一样，例如 ，They chanced upon a lovely cafe. 他们偶然发现一间相当宜人、很迷人的小餐馆。好，那有一个动词 stumble, s t u m b l e， 这个字也可以表达偶然发现或是撞见。那么当这个意思来解释时，它是不及物用法，后面常常会搭配介系词 across, on 或是 upon， 然后再加名词去表达说，在没有预期的情况下。无意间发现或是得知某事物。举例来说 ，They stumbled upon a beautiful lake on their way to the town. 他们前往那个城镇的路上啊，偶然发现一座美丽的湖泊。好，那么刚刚课文有提到一座神桥，读到下一句，他说 ，Known as the Casuachaca Bridge, this is no ordinary structure. 这座桥称为。维斯瓦卡桥，它可不是普通的结构物。好，那么 ordinary 它是形容普通的、平凡的、平常的。那当我们用某人或某事物 somebody or something is no ordinary 再加名词，就是强调说某人或某事物它非常特别、不同凡响。那么 this is no ordinary structure 就是表达说这是一个很不一样的结构物，是个非常特别的结构体。那顺便补充一下 ，ordinary 也可以当名词来表达普通、平凡，通常是用在片语 out of the ordinary 去表达说奇特的、不寻常的。那这时候 out of the ordinary 就相当于 out of the way。假设朋友问你上个周末在干嘛呢？周末过得怎么样啊？就可以回答说 nothing out of the ordinary。就是说没什么特别的。好，另外，如果我们在 ordinary 前面加上 extra 这个字 ，e x t r a， 就会变成 extraordinary。那这时候呢，可以用来形容是特别的、非凡的、令人惊奇的。其实我们也可以用字首字根的方式去了解这个字哦。好，前面这个 extra e x t r a 它表示超越，那么 o r d i n 有次序、顺序的意思。然后再看到 a r y 是形容词字尾，同学们就可以试着联想啦。不按照该有的次序，超越平常一般的状况，就会显得很特别嘛。所以这个 extraordinary 就可以用来形容它是特别的、非凡的。我们顺便补充几个也有这个 o r d i n 这个字根的单字哦，像第一个 coordinate c o o r d i n a t e， 好，它的字首 c o 表示相同，那么 o r d i n 表示顺序、次序或是排列，然后 a t e 它可以是动词字尾或是名词字尾，把它合在一起 coordinate。当动词具有协调，使什么调和的意思。然后它当名词，常常会用复数型来表达坐标。好，第二个补充的是 ordinance。O R D I N A N C E， 那这个字呢？它其中的 O R D I N 是表达命令或是秩序，那么 A N C E 是名词字尾，合在一起 ordinance 这个名词它就有法令条例的意思。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾这些单词吧。Gorge, the bridge allows visitors to cross over the deep gorge. Community, Frank has always been an important member of the community. Resort, 
The workers resorted to strikes in order to improve their pay. Machinery. By law, you must be over the age of 18 to operate certain kinds of machinery. Ancestor. How do you think our ancestors first came up with the concept of cooking food? Okay, everyone. With that, today's article is now complete. But, as always, we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See See you next time. time.